everybody. How are you guys all doing? Uh, it's Nicole and coming to you from Canada. Um, just thought I'd step in and um, do a quick video and let you know what's cooking in my part of the area here. Um, haven't really been up to a whole lot. Um, like I said before, I do have chronic pain. So um, this week, although it is only Wednesday, is... Um, Proving to be one of the weeks that maybe isn't the best. However, um, still breathing. So, I mean, we do what we, what we have to do. Um, but I just thought that I would come and show you some of my packages, different things I bought. And I would also show you some of the things that I'm working on. And, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, okay, so I guess we'll just start off with things that I've purchased recently. Okay, so I haven't, like I said, I haven't really been doing any shopping, but on um, Mother's Day, um, my granddaughter Madeline gave me a gift card for Michael's. Um, and here in Canada, we don't have um, good cotton. <laughs> I mean, the cotton that we get, that we can get and is at my, at my stores is the Bernat. And I like to make things for... Um, my granddaughters and I will not use that stuff. It is way too hard and way too scratchy. Um, I wish that I had a Hobby Lobby or a Joann's. I have reached out to both of them to ask them if they'd be willing to ship out. I would, um, I'd pay them whichever, whatever the, the price was for that because I want some of their cotton. They said no. So kind of looking for alternative. Um, I've never used, um, peaches and cream. And, or no, sorry, sugar and cream. Jeez, peaches and cream. Um, sugar and cream. So I thought that I would just go ahead and order some um, online. So I did that. I got four of one color and four of another color. Didn't know how close or how anything they were going to be to um, the Bernard, but they were cheap and I thought I'll give it a shot. So I ordered um, two, like I said, and um, I got four of each one. This one is called Jewels. Um, there is 95 yards, 86 meters, two ounces, 56.7 grams. Um, they say it is four weight and to use a five millimeter hook. So I got four of these. way too hard not going to make them any clothing but i was thinking i could do some little bags um the little girls they always like to have bags to carry on with some stuff in it and then the other one that i bought was desert rising so it's like browns and kind of like a peachy color tan color i'll make another bag i have four of those so a couple of weeks ago first i had gone to michael's um and I was looking for some cotton so that I could make my daughter a, a bag and line it. So I ended up finding the Karen cakes, cotton cakes. And I got this one here. It's in watermelon. Um, medium four, five millimeter hook. You guys probably all know this because you guys, anybody in the States has had this way, way longer than we have. Um, 8.8 .8 ounces, 250 grams, 530 yards. So I got two. And I'm going to make her a bag. She needs to get on the internet and find out which bag she wants me to make for her. Um, and then she really, really likes um, Volkswagen uh, minivans. So I went to the local, my local fabric store here. And I bought this. So this is going to be the lining for her bag when she decides what she wants. So that's that. So back to my granddaughter, Madeline. She gave me a gift certificate for um, um, Michael's. So I went and bought some more cakes. I got hydrangea. Um, same as, same everything as that, just the four weight, all the different things. Uh, I got this one. So that one is like purples. It's not even a purple. It's a gray, blue, teal, white. Really pretty. I got two of those ones. And then I also got two Amethyst Sky. This one I love. It's 
like purple, blue, gray, kind of a lighter gray. Oh, it's just beautiful. So I got two of those, two of the other ones. Um, I'm probably going to hoard them away for a while until I find a really, really good pattern um, because I don't know when we're going to get any more in. And um, there's so many good things that are coming out, especially for summer. So um, I'll just hold on to those, I think, for a little while and see if I can find a pattern. I'll probably just hoard them away for a while, but whatever. Okay, so then I bought that. Um, I don't know how this happened, but I guess I ordered um, Red Heart with Love in the colorway Bosonberry. It says 6.5 millimeter hook, size medium four, uh, 190 gram or 98 gram, seven ounces, 370 yards, 338 meters. It is It's so pretty that really doesn't do it any justice. It's kind of like a, a deep um, burgundy. So I ordered two of these. I don't remember ordering them. Uh, I wish you did because if I was going to order these, then I would have obviously ordered a lot more. And I'm kind of peeved about that, but that's fine. I will go. I will go back into my my accounts and I will see when I order it and and, um, and look to order some more. So I got two of those ones, and then. Everybody's been talking about the t-shirt yard being at the Dollar Tree. And I was so excited because here in Canada we do have Dollar Trees. So we had three. So I went to all three of them. Didn't have them. Didn't have them. I was like, this is ridiculous. Come on. Whatever. What about my way? Um, last week, I think it was last week. It was the week before. We took my granddaughter to Dollarama. It's her favorite little place to go and run around. And our do Dollarama had them. They only had three, but I did get them. Um, they just all say assorted, no colors. So the first one is just white and red. The second one is white, red, and blue. And then the third one is white, blue. There's some green, some burgundy. I really have no clue what I'm going to do with them. So if you guys have any ideas shoot me a message and let me know. I really, I have no idea. I just, I seen it and I wanted it, so I got it. Um, I was also going to say that if, if you guys are looking for t-shirt yarn and you can't find it anywhere, Ashley at Heart Hook and Home, she actually has a tutorial on how to make it. Um, and then she has made some pretty fantastic stuff with it too. So you could, um, you could go in there and see how to make it or look for patterns for different things that, that she has made. Um, yeah, it's just, it's really good. Um, okay, and then uh, I went shopping today. I just stopped at Walmart. I am out looking for um, Lion Brands Comfy Cotton. I, like, literally go to all of my Walmarts. We have three here, and I go to them all the time, circling around, hoping that I will see them one day. Didn't find them. Anyway, um, I just ended up buying a gray nothing special it's just the brunette premium which i absolutely love though um medium four five millimeter 360 yards 329 meters seven ounces 198 grams so i got one of those ones and i just got the black it really isn't my color um but i seen it and i thought that i i wanted to get it so i'm thinking maybe i will make um a blanket with the gray black and then this pink is hot pink all the exact same stuff as the other one. It's super bright and pink really isn't my color, but I just thought that, hmm, sorry, I'm just going to grab this really quick. Sorry. I thought that the three of these maybe would look good in a blanket. Um, I have some white over there too. Um, let me know what you think about these three colors together or if you think that I should omit a different color or add a different color. Um, yeah, I don't know what pattern I'm gonna use. I don't know any of that stuff. I just seen it and thought, mm, that might be not too bad. My favorite color is purple, so I always seem to want to go purple, but I thought I would try and maybe try something else. And I just seen these and I haven't seen this color of pink. So anyway, I got that. And then I 
Um, went to Walmart a couple days ago, and everybody's been talking about this flamenco um, red heart yarn, or super saver. And um, it's kind of the rage. I see everybody's using it. And I need to I need to make a, a blanket for my second granddaughter. Um, so I picked up four of these. I don't think four is going to be enough. I'm going to have to go back and get another one. I'm sure you guys all know because it's ev everywhere. It's just pretty. It's like pinks and orange and purple. It's really pretty. But anyway, so I grabbed four of those. I'm on my third one. I just started this. So... This is where I'm at with it, sorry. So I have started to do the decreasing now. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. I mean, our store, at least they, they, um, they um, stock this. So I, I'm just gonna go back and get some more if I need to. And then um, another whip I'm working on is a simple C to C, um, granny blanket for my son um just for him to be able to cover up while he's watching a movie or play his games or whichever he's a little skinny mini and gets cold all the time so i'm just doing it in traditional blue and white his favorite teams is the toronto maple leafs and um uh the blue jays toronto blue jays so i'm just doing it in these two colors because kind of goes for both of them um i have a long way to go haven't really been working on it lately i probably should um, things just kind of get, you know, in the way and I start moving on to something else. Um, so that's my other whip that I'm working on. I do have some other ones, um, but I can't show you because a lot of them are for different gifts. Um, completed projects. I have, I made my granddaughter a, um, C to C blanket. My granddaughter, Madeline, using Karen Cakes in the color Bumbleberry. It's purple and it's beautiful and I absolutely love it and that's my favorite color and that's her favorite color so it was a win-win um so I've made that I've washed it I've prepared it I've done everything and like I said before I'm the type of person that once an item is done I wash it I block it or hang it or whatever it needs to be done to it and then I ship it off and that's exactly what I did with her blanket but um I will see if I can insert a, a picture just of the blanket, but then I'll also see if I can insert another one. Um, her mama sent me a picture of her and she was had it wrapped around her and said she loves her grandma's blanket. So I'm gonna try and put that into here too. Um, so that's my finished. Um, I know there's something else. Oh, I have two um, dresses that are finished, but I unfortunately don't have those right here. I'll have to show them in a different video. And then, I don't wear toques. Toques are not me. Um, but I was just playing around. I have a ton of um, impeccable. Like, both of my stands on both sides, all the way down. They're both full of impeccable. Um, I buy them when they're on sale. And I, 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 yeah, like I said, this whole row and this whole row is just all impeccable. Um, and then I've got my other stuff over there. And then I have, like, some stuff different stuff in here. And here I have all my Pantones. I've wanted these so bad, so I just kept hoarding them away and hoarding them away. And like, I have so many of them, but I haven't done any with them. And I don't know if I will. I mean, I probably should eventually, but I don't know if I will or not because I just like them. So that's what's in that one there. And then down here and here, that little thing there. I just have my Joy DKs. That's where those ones all are. But anyway, yeah. So I used um, this one in the tube just to try it out. Like I said, I don't, I don't wear tubes, but so please, please don't, don't judge upon this tube being on my head. And I the the um, pom pom isn't attached very strongly. I still have to do that. Um, Super easy though, like this hat took no time at all. It was like so super quick. So there you go. See, it needs to be a little bit tighter. But I'm just playing around with, you know, I have so much yarn that I'm thinking that I, sh I should probably start to use some of it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm 
super bad for stocking and keeping and buying new to use for things when all of this yarn is new anyway so I should probably use it but um I don't know that's just what I do um so like I said I do have a few more things that I'm working on I have a ton of different things that I I'm gonna go forward and show you guys at later times um I was gonna mention I don't know if you guys are interested in doing a, a, a cal or not but um, Ashley at Hard Hook Home, she is starting a new Kel, I believe it starts on June 1st. Don't quote me, but um, it's for a cardigan and it's a very lightweight summer cardigan. Um, it's beautiful. So if you guys are interested, just thought I'd throw it out there, go check it out. Um, sign up for emails and then it just gets emailed to you each time one comes out. Um, I have I have made quite a few of Ashley's um, patterns and and the other crochet along was Elizabeth cardigan I have made I think four for my daughter and then I've made some as gifts too um and that's a Kellen that's a really really pretty one and then I've also made her um hedonist house coats I made one for my daughter and I made one for my daughter-in-law so I can show those at some time um I've also made her shell good cardigans and I have made those all the way from three months all the way up to 3XL. So I can definitely be able to show you some of those. Um, some of them I don't have, and I'll just insert pictures when I get to that point of it. Um, yeah, so that's 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 what's cooking on my uh, side over here. But I just thought I would drop in really quick, do a quick little video and let you know what's up. And, and I appreciate and I want to thank each and every single one of you for returning to my video or to my page to watch this. I appreciate it so much. Um, if you could, if you could um, subscribe and um, like my video, I would appreciate it. Um, I'm here for the same thing as all of you guys is to be inspired by other people and be able to meet people and, and have that, um, have that group of people because like I said I do know people here that crochet um I have one one local girl that I know um but when you suffer from chronic pain you don't really um you don't really step outside of that like it, it's my family that's who that's who I spend most of my time with um and I wouldn't change it for anything I love that but being able to come on YouTube and watch your guys's videos and interact with you guys is is really awesome and it is something that is good is good for me um in my other one i said how scared i was to do this and and i am but at the same time i love it i love it i love it i love it i love all of you guys you guys are all fantastic um i appreciate all your guys's patterns all of your guys's views all your honest remarks um i love that you guys show all your stuff with us you inspire me and i know you inspire tons of other people um, and I just truly, truly appreciate it. I do have to throw a <laughs> shout out for Seta at Seta's Place. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You gave me a shout out in one of your posts and I've had some people come over and they have told me that you did and they have joined and I want to thank you so, so much Seta. That This is amazing. I'm absolutely loving. I know that it's only video two and I have a lot to learn, but I just love this whole thing. I love that I get to meet people that enjoy the same thing. I love my family and we spend so much time together, but they could give a shit less about yarn. Um, unless I'm making something for my daughter, for her to have to pick something out. She doesn't really, and I don't expect her to at all. But it's nice because I come here and I have you guys and you guys have me. So um, I'm going to leave it there. I don't know if I'll be back anymore this week. If I do any shopping or if I get some things completed, then I will come back. Um, yeah, well, happy hooking. Today is Whip Wednesday. So pull out all your whips and get going on them. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and finish her blanket and um, wash it, get it ready, ship it off. And... I should work on his, but I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I want to make another cardigan. I don't know. I used to only start one project and get it totally done and then move on to the next. And 
I just don't anymore. I can't. That's just not, um, I get bored. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much, you guys. You guys take care and have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week. And um, until next time, bye.